Hey guys, so today we'll try to create a program in Python which will help us to fetch the weather details of a particular city. Now, for this we will make use of the openweathermap.org API and through that we will fetch the weather details of a city. So just go to this website and click on this API section. Once you click on the API section, just go a bit down and you will find something like current weather data. Subscribe to it because this is the free version to use. Others are actually paid. So uh, we don't need to use that for practice. Just click on the subscribe. Once you click on the subscribe, go a bit down. You'll find that you have a free API access thing. And using this, you can fetch the current weather. So click on the uh, get API. Once you click on the get API, you need to be signed up to the website. So I have already, I already have an account. You, you can create an account over here. I will just click on sign in and I will just submit it. Once I have signed in, I can go to this, uh, my, my username and go to the my keys. In the my keys, I have my API key ready. If you don't have the API key ready, you can just go back to the API section in this, so click on subscribe and go to the free and click on get API key. Okay. So through that you can get the API key and then we will be ready to make calls to this particular APIs. Okay. So for how can you make call to it for that? Just go to the guide. Once you go to the guide one, you'll find different guide for different endpoints. We will fetch the current weather or the current state. So go to go on the current state section. All right. Now in the current state, we have different ways of fetching a weather details of a particular place. Like the first for example is given using the latitude and longitude. Like this is the end point where you will make call and you will pass few query parameters. The latitude and the longitude as well as the API ID or basically that's the API key which we just have created, right? I need to make a call to fetch the weather details using the city name. For that, you will see something like built in API request by city name. Just click on that and then you will find an example of getting the weather details of a city using the city name. So make a call to this API and pass as a query parameter Q and the, with the city name and pass the API ID as well. So we'll make use of it and let's try to create a program for this. So I'll just quickly jump onto the PyCharm. And first thing what we'll do is we'll have our, our URL ready So create our URL. Now this is our URL where, where we will be making a call. Copy this, paste it over here. Now to make a call to an API, we should have some kind of module which can help us to make these calls. I will take help of request module. If you have never used request module, just make sure that you go to my channel and you have a complete playlist of the request module and then you can explore it. To get more details about how the request modules and how the API calls work. Now I have my URL ready. I need to pass the API ID and the uh, query parameter Q. Uh, I'll I'll fetch my query parameter from a, as an input from the user, and I will enter my API ID. So let me copy my API ID. Let me copy this and API key. All right, API underscore key is equal to this one. All right. Let's make a call to this your uh, url so what we'll do is r is equal to or basically the request is requests dot make a get call to it this is your url and we need to pass few query parameters right so let's create our query parameter in a dictionary so our queries are we need to pass two queries first is the q and that will basically be the city name and second is the api id uh, that's in the key name as uh, okay it's API ID so let's pass it as well and enter the API ID that is basically the API key how are we gonna take the input the city name is using the input one so enter city name right I'll make a call to the uh, to the particular URL and uh, with the with this particular city name so how can I pass these queries to my uh, request is I need to pass it in an argument called as a param. I need to pass the queries. Once I pass the queries, I can fetch the details, right? So we need to have just print the re re response in JSON format. So we'll say r dot JSON, and that's it. 
that's it for uh, this uh, for this point as well so let's just run this program it will ask us to enter the city name let's enter like of uh, delhi and click on enter we are getting some details right we are getting some code we are getting something like weather we are getting something like base mean all these details are basically in a format and if you just go to the guide you will just understand the response format so i think it is a bit above at what is the response format so yeah we have some api response and we have the format over here right this is one example and this is the detail of it like the first key is pod which basically have the log longitude of the location and latitude of the location second is the weather basically have the id weather condition id the main details of the weather that that can be rain snow cloud etc we can we'll have the description of it we'll have an icon of it some base parameter is also there which is an internal parameter we, as a response we will have main and that will have the temperature t in temp by and by default the unit will be kelvin how the temperature feels like will be present in our response the pressure the humidity the temperature minimum the maximum temperature a lot of details are there in our response again you can go through this response in this in its guide to understand more about it but right now what we'll do it we'll format our response to just make sure that when we print it our user can see the response in a bit formatted way so i don't want my user to to see this so let's just first try to print the uh what you say uh, let's let's just print the temperature i will say temperature and that is plus r dot json this is basically a json that is basically a dictionary in python in this we will have something like a uh, main because this has the temperature i'll fetch the main from here and then i'll fetch the temp temperature let's run it and see what are we getting so let me enter the city name again and right now we are getting an error because it is saying that we can only concatenate, concatenate string okay so this is basically a, a float value so let's convert it to a string all right so once we run it again enter the city name again it will fetch these details and the temperature is 284 that is basically in kelvin uh, once we just subtract 273.15 from it that will be in degree celsius so if i just run it and enter the city name now we will be able to fetch the temperature again we are fetching it in a lot of decimal places we can even round it out so let's round out the result up to two decimal places all right uh, now we have we are printing the temperature let's print the press pressure as well so let me just copy this paste it out here and in the second line let's and uh, let's fetch the pressure that is that is inside the main and in this we have something like pressure so instead of temp we'll fetch the pressure and we don't need to you know uh, decrease minus the 273.15 from it let's round it to two as well and click on enter enter the city name and we are getting the temperature we are getting the pressure right the pre the temperature is in, is in degree celsius we have converted it the pressure is basically in hpa given in the response format as well so now we have a way to fetch temperature pressure humidity and lot of things right you can just go on and explore these to fetch more details display more details but now we know that okay how can we make it just uh, just you know go to the open weather map uh, api fetch the api key make a query make a request and just display the information so hope this will help you to just get started or to fetch the weather details of a particular city using an api uh, you are not bound to use this particular api you can just uh, you know explore other apis which are available freely and just uh, you know start fetching the details this is just an example of how we can just achieve this task all right so we'll see you in the next